Hey, everybody. Uh, just another encouraging word for you this week. Um, I, I want to talk a little bit with you just to help you kind of navigate the, I don't know, the social media world right now concerning the prophetic, because um, what's happening is you're seeing you and I, we're seeing prophets all over the place. Now, some of them are prophets and some of them are not. Some of them are so-called and there's some of them that have proven ministries. Um, but it seems like in this season, in this time right now, um, the prophets are just prophesying like crazy. Now, I want to give you some a little bit of some strategy on how to navigate this, because I want to tell you just to remember that prophets are not our guides, not mine, not yours. The Holy Spirit is our guides. So what happens sometimes with us is when we start looking for all these different prophetic words on what's this prophet saying, what's that one doing? What happens is inadvertently, and nobody wakes up in the morning thinking this is my goal, but what happens is us as people, we can start taking our focus off the Lord, putting it on the prophets, and next thing you know, our focus is on all these different prophetic words that are going on and we're trying to figure it out. But let me give you a little word of advice here concerning the world and what's going on. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to figure it out. What is God saying to you? You have the same Holy Spirit inside of you that every prophet does. And that Holy Spirit in you wants to speak to you himself. He wants to guide your life. He wants to direct you. So listen, I don't listen to prophets on social media. Almost never. And people send them to me all the time. You know, and I'm just like, ah. I, and then I get up and I preach things and they're like, oh, this prophet's saying it too. Great. They're supposed to. But I don't need to be having them talking to me when the Holy Spirit is the one guiding my life. So I want you to put this in right context. Now, prophets are awesome. We love prophets. Prophets are gifts to the church. That's what our Bible says. So they're gifts to the church. So what we should be doing is getting prophetic words, you know, at times in our lives, but not having prophets guide every step. Another thing we shouldn't be doing is waiting for what the prophets will say, trying to figure out what this means, what that means, how this is going to happen. And your mind comes right down here on earth, trying to figure out all these things that are going to happen when our minds should be set on Jesus. And when our minds are set on things above, like the Bible says, set on him and the Holy Spirit is guiding us, prophets will confirm what we're feeling but another thing, too, is that, that prophets need to have an apostolic person or covering that they're working with in order to bring balance to what they're doing. So that's just kind of a word of encouragement regarding prophets. Now, listen, we love prophets. We have prophets here. We're raising a prophetic company, but we're doing it in the context of an apostle prophet team where we're working in teams together. So hopefully that will encourage you and help you um, to just take a break maybe from some of the prophets. And I'll tell you, some of these people that are calling themselves prophets, they're simply responding to the chatter in the spirit that's not even that's in that's from the world. And they, they're not even realizing that much of the things they're feeling and seeing isn't even their own. And it's not even coming from God. They're responding to the pressures in the world. But often when you're out there on your own, you don't understand it. Okay? So love you guys. Hope that encourages you. I'm not saying prophets are bad, I'm saying they're great. We love them too, but but just take that as a piece of advice when you're dealing with this. Now, hey, tune in Thursdays. You'll see our Empowering the Prophetic teachings come up. Be Wendell and myself here. Sometimes we have guests. Sometimes it's just the two of us. But tune in on Thursdays to get some great, awesome, uh, down-to-earth, practical prophetic teaching on Thursdays. We love you guys, and I hope that helps you out.